Hello, and welcome to the place where you will buy sexual devices for your pleasure. Why must you ruin everything I hold dear? <laughs> hey, we're back! BGN, Bones, Bearded One. Hi. We're, we're playing Aegis Wing. Let's play Mini. Because we can. Yeah. This is basically what we're doing in between now and our next big Let's Play, so let's play Aegis Wing. A very short indie game made back in 2007 by a couple of students. It was one of the first, I believe one of the first, um, free-to-play games on Xbox Live Arcade. It's completely free. It's cool. It's cool. I think. Old-school 2D know. space shooter. You have not played any of it? No. Okay, then. Well. This is a new experience, and it will probably suck since I suck at these kind of things. Okay, so we're going into single player. Okay, so normal or insane? Let's do normal. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six levels. Not very long at all. But we'll get through this. Okay, now choose the color of your ship. I got this. Do you like that? Do you like that purple? Ooh, purple. You're gonna be purple. Right? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Turning point. 2105. Humanity flees a dying Earth for the distant world Europa, but with their home. Eh, shit. I already <laughs> fucked up the reading. <clears throat> Turn Turning point. 2105. Humanity flees a dying Earth for the distant world Europa, but their new home is soon threatened by an advanced alien race, the Arexia. With stolen Araxian technology, Europa Fleet develops an experimental starfighter and assigns four ace pilots to test it. This is your mission. So let's begin right now. You better be ready, because oh. I'm going to start it. Because all you need to know is move with left stick and shoot with right trigger. And then when you eventually get a power-up, you use left trigger to use it. But let's blow up these Araxian terrorists. Space terrorists, as I like to call them. And also... Oh yeah! I am now latched onto you. Actually, no, that's a bad idea. You're driving. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. Oh, Jesus. You like my strategy? Just move back and forth and shoot? Yep. Gee, I wonder. That is my strategy. Oh, my God. Yeah, see, what's cool about this game is that when you're playing... Oh, you're dead already. Don't worry, you get... Fucking... You get four lives per level, and there's some health that you don't need because you died. Shit. But anyway, what I like about this game is they have a mechanic where when you're playing multiplayer... You can latch on to other players' ships. And then the second player, who's not controlling the actual ship, can shoot in any direction. It's cool. It's cool, bro. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I'm not going to do that because you're driving. <laughs> would you rather drive? I would rather drive if we were going to do that. So how do I do that? You just get close to me and press X. Okay, so so I, I drive, you whatever. shoot. And I also shoot. Yes. So Bones, how you doing today? I'm good since I slept for 18 hours or something. No, you didn't. Not really. But it felt like it. It felt really good after. And then I woke you up. Oh god, mini boss. Shoot him in the face. Hmm. Gotta shoot him. We gotta dodge all the bullets. Hmm. Ah. Uh, take that. So, Bones, anything you want to discuss? Um, oh, Jesus, you're dead. Aw, oh, you murdered me. I'm sorry. Um, Take some see. of this shit. What do I want to discuss? Take some um, of this shit right in your face. Yeah. He's going to die. Oh, he's dead. He exploded. I don't know. First level already completed. Look at my accuracy. It's awful. Hey, mine's <laughs> not much better. Anyway. There's like double one. <clears throat> Chapter 2 Hostile Welcome. The Aegis Starfighter is a success, but as you return to the fleet, nothing greets you except scrap and radiation. The Araxia have begun their invasion, and only the Aegis Wing remains to fight them. Communications are jammed. You must return to the nearby fleet research station! 
Bones, we must. Shoot. We must. This is for Space Europa, okay? Shoot, man. Anyway, what were you going to talk about? I don't know. I was trying to come up with something to talk about, but... Yeah, we really should have, like... I get it's a Let's Play and we don't really plan this out ahead of time, but... Most of the time we really have nothing to talk about except Jibber Jabber. And you know how we like Jibber Jabber. Jibber Jabber! Jibber! Jibbers. There should be a restaurant called Jibber's Jabbers. I don't know what kind of food it would be, but I don't know. Seems like a good name. I got it. So remember, press left trigger to use power-ups. Okay. You have a power-up. Do I have a power-up? Yes. You have homing missiles. Oh, yeah. There we go. So yeah, this is an indie game. And anyone who follows Beard of Banter knows my opinion on indie games. Anybody who follows Beard of Banter also knows that... I hate Call of Duty. Okay, why is my opinion? Yes. Apparently, was that what you were going to say? No, that's not what I was going to say, but I forget what I was going to say, so actually... Good! Your brain works perfectly. Are you going to mention the fucking... Rainbow gun. Oh my god, yeah, they're selling fucking um, gun skins or weapon skins as DLC now in Call of Duty. So, fucking, that's stupid. Yeah, that's really like, dumb. Like, the rainbow gun is kind of totally cool, but that it's really dumb. That it, it you is. have to buy it. Yeah. Like, it should I, just... would, I would use a weapon skin, but not if I have to buy it. Yeah. Like, why would you, why why, would you it's have like... to buy weapon skins? You know what? It, rem it, it reminds me of, like, Avatar items. Like, I. Like remember? How did they do it before? It was like before it was like weapons. COD points. Yeah. It was like in-game currency. Unlock them in the fucking game. Now they're advertising it on the main dash. It's like, yeah. oh, new weapon skin packs for Call of Duty Black Ops 2, and I'm like, go fuck yourself. Yeah. Why would you sell that as DLC? Like that is. Really That's dumb. really dumb. Why I should actually put that on the list of banter topics for this why week. Why would anyone buy? Yeah. Why would anyone buy? skins for their guns. Like, you had to buy them in-game before, but it wasn't, like, Yeah, it wasn't real money. money. It was in-game money. You got the fucking points for playing the game. Multiplayer, right? You, you, seriously, seriously, what it reminds me of... Also, I gotta use some health. It seriously reminds me of Avatar items and, like, props. Yeah. It's like, you pay money for these cosmetic things that really don't matter. So why would you pay money for things like that? Also, is this kind of disorienting that I'm moving and you're trying to shoot things? Um, a little bit. It's, it's a little disturbing. It's a I've played this game like all four players before, and we just had like a Tower of Doom going with all our ships. Yeah. Ah, <gasps> oh, damn it, you got it. Mm, I can't say it yet. Bubble shield. That is a bubble shield. It reminds me of uh, Halo 3. Yeah, whatever happened to, like, equipment in Halo? God, like they had, yeah, they had equipment in Halo Three. I hated that in multiplayer because everybody would just fucking shield. Yeah, but like the shield only. Or not shield, but they would do the fucking. Are you talking about armor lock? Yeah. That's Halo Reach. Oh. Oh shit. Armor lock, like. Also, I died so. So much. Armor yeah, armor lock, lock was like bull. the most bullshit thing ever. And then the thing, holy shit. And then the thing is, they tried to, like, nerf it in updates, but it never nerfed. Yeah. Like, they, ne they it was always as cheap and as it always was. They, well, I it seriously... It's so awful because, like, you try to kill somebody and they fucking armor lock. I seriously... And you yeah. have to fucking wait for them to get off of armor lock, and then they usually end up killing you instead, which was bullshit, because mm -hmm. fuck you, I was gonna kill you. Yeah. <laughs> No yeah, I honestly think, dude. I, I honestly think that uh, friggin' armor lock shouldn't have been in the game to begin with. No, armor lock. Was it terrible. seriously should not. Have armor been in the lock. Game to like begin the with. only thing I liked for about armor lock was like if I was using it. Of course. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you're a hypocrite. You know that. Like obviously, like if you were using. Obviously, it, if you're using it to your advantage, you're gonna no, like but it. I mean, but I mean, like not in multiplayer, like in game. Oh god! Oh, like the campaign. Yeah. <gasps> I can do it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Arb of Confusion! Oh, I had one of those, and then I used it, and then... It I was wait- Oh, shit, I died. I was waiting for that. The Arb of Confusion! Yeah, it's a Spongebob reference for anyone who hasn't seen Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Man Ray. Oh, God, yeah. Arb of Confusion! So, 
like I liked it in the campaign. The armor lock. Going back to the armor lock discussion. Yeah, armor lock. I liked it in the campaign, but I did not like it in multiplayer. multiplayer. No one freaking likes it in multiplayer. Because people would use it. It was like on the same lines as like camping. Me off as much as camping does. Yeah. But it's, it, like, it's it was okay yeah. in the campaign because you could actually use it to your advantage, but in the fucking multiplayer, it was like it was like when people camp, which pisses me off. Yeah, it's basically camping without hiding. Mm -hmm. But anyway, next time on Let's Play Just Wing, we will continue with Hive and Seek. You get it? It's a clever play on to hide and seek, except we're in the Hive and Raxian Hive. I hope they don't have armor lock. I hate you. I hate you.